welcome to another Veg Inspired video. Today, we're in Rochester, New York, and you get to see all the things that we ate in Rochester, New York. And then we also got the vegan Rochester plate. It's tofu scramble, mac salad, fried potatoes, and a no meat sauce. Time to dig in. Tofu scramble, tempeh bacon, some daya cheese. I think that's it. I don't know, but it's so delicious. You guys have to come here. What do you think, Veg Inspired Chef? This is amazing. So here we are at Misfit Donuts. Hey guys, so we pulled the Rochester because of where we needed to go when we came to Rochester and they said Misfit Donuts. So we're here. We're gonna try this Concord Grape Donut. So you get all over me and that's totally okay. Mm. They were right. We have to come here. Delicious. Great place for lunch. So we stopped by and visited the Red Herd in Rochester, New York. 
Rochester has some awesome vegan food. Awesome vegan food. We are beyond, beyond impressed. Everything was far, um, far more amazing than we could have ever imagined. able to enjoy vegan beers. We loved the beers at the Silver Lake Brewing Project. I am an IPA fan, so the IPA number four was probably my favorite, um, followed by the Oat Pale. That was pretty delicious. Uh, we were able to grab some growlers and enjoy those by our campfire with some s'mores later that night. And they were out of gyros, so that made me get to try other options. So I got the pizza special. It's a broccoli rob pizza with a big balsamic reduction and um, some follow your heart mozzarella as well as some homemade uh, vegan feta. So I'm gonna grab a piece of this. Of course you get to watch me eat it, because what's more fun? Mm. Oh my god. This is so good. I'm so, so happy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and chow down. Okay, so I'm getting a bite of the Slovakia, so I figured I should show you guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh um, my god. Wow. That's really good. Mm. That's really good. So our lunch at Vula's was absolutely incredible. Um, we definitely recommend Vula's if you are ever in Rochester. It's off Monroe Ave. We've had such a great time exploring Rochester's vegan scene. Um, and we think you should too. All right, now on to the next place. So after lunch at Vula's, we decided to hit up High Falls District in Rochester. Uh, we'll take you guys on a little tour, but it's pretty cool. We'll give you a spin around view. here for a fundraiser. They opened on Monday night to donate a portion of their proceeds to the Animal Rights Organization of Rochester. It's part of their 21 Days 
of love celebration series. You can check out more information for the 21 days of love at 21-daysoflove.org um, and you can check out Redfern, Rochester. It is amazing. This is the second time this trip that we've been here. You can check out our steak bomber that we shared the other day um, a little ways back, but we're gonna show you some pretty awesome food tonight, so we're really excited. So sit back and enjoy the rest of this video. Look at how good that looks. Okay guys, so I am getting ready to dig in to some mac and cheese nachos. They are brown rice mac and cashew cheese on top of tortilla chips with vegan cheddar, a green olive salsa verde, roasted tomatoes, the spicy meat sauce, and avocado puree. Let's dig in. Okay, so we're gonna get chips with the meat sauce. Find a noodle, stick that on there. I'm gonna get some avocado puree. And I'm gonna take a big bite. And then I'm gonna tell John that I'm not gonna share. They're all for me. Sorry. So. We're gonna dig into these. Our food is here. So we ordered the compost plate, which is the Redfern's version of the Rochester garbage plate, which is a Rochester signature. It comes with mac salad, sweet potato salad, spicy meat sauce, balsamic field greens, and we picked the seitan steak as our topping. Next up, we have the Thai kale salad, which is kale, quinoa, carrots, red peppers, purple cabbage, cilantro, toasted cashews, creamy Thai peanut sauce, and it's tasty, I already snuck a bite. And finally, we have the Buffalo Blue, which is a braised buffalo tempeh, with cabbage slaw and cucumber, with a blue cheese dressing on focaccia and some sesame sticks for some crunch. So we're gonna dig in to this one first. Get a little bit of everything. Oh my God. That's amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a real healthy and you want some kale, this Thai peanut is amazing. All right, so spicy is not my thing. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it in my mouth. No, you know what? It's gonna be a big bite. Mm. That has a kick, a big kick. Wow, but this is perfect. So we're gonna share all this and enjoy it. So here we are at the Owl House in Rochester, New York. This is our final stop before we head home for our little short vacation and a vegan foodie trip to Rochester. We're starting with the buffalo cauliflower wings and some rosemary fries. So we're gonna dig into this guy. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna bite into that that big size. You guys know how I am about spicy. I get loads of vegan blue cheese. Oh my god. It's breaded and tossed in hot sauce, which is really hot, with blue cheese. 